What is up, my sweet life cousins? It's your girl, Jess, and I'm back with another vlog. But y'all, this vlog is so different because it's gonna be like a documentary. I'm completely and utterly going to be documenting my whole surgery process. So today is, I think, the 28th or the 29th of November. And it's currently like 1.30. Getting ready to go to my appointment at Grady Memorial Hospital where my surgery is going to be taking place. So for those of you who don't know, because I didn't tell anybody on the vlog, I am having fibroid surgery. Um, I found out that I had fibroids a couple of months ago, but I already kind of like knew this for like a year but I think I've had these for years, if that makes sense. Like, it was confirmed months ago. I felt like I had it a year ago, but I believe it's been there for years. I just think that over time they were growing. So this appointment is because I'm about to go meet with the anesthesiologist because I'm getting put to sleep to be worked on to get the fibroids removed and I'm having a myomectomy surgery. There are different types of surgeries that they can perform on you to remove your fibroids. You can shrink them, you can burn them off, or you can just completely get them removed. And I want to have kids, you guys. So I, told, I chose to have a myomectomy because I just felt like I don't want to shrink them because if you shrink them, they're going to come back and they're going to grow again. And I just don't want to deal with that pain, y'all. And I really wish I would have started documenting this journey way beforehand. But it was like, when I'm in that moment of being in pain because my cycle is on, like, I can't even pick up my phone. Like, that's just how bad it is. Ooh, sorry. Oh, sorry, y'all. So my surgery is this Thursday. And I'm just, like, so nervous. I've never been put to sleep before. I never had surgery before. And, you know, it's just a lot of thoughts going through my mind because this is, like, something really, really new to me. But I'm just not going to, you know, I'm not going to think the worst. I'm going to pray for the best, you know, because I have God on my side. He has brought me this far. And, you know, this process was very quick for me. Um, it was very quick for me. And, yeah, I mean, I'm nervous, but I'm excited because... My stomach is so big. It's like the size of a six month, six month old pregnant woman. And um, it just hindered me from doing a lot of stuff towards the end of this. Like y'all know I was in the gym heavy. I had to stop going to the gym because it was hurting me to go work out in the gym. Like certain workouts I would do would hurt me. Even with just strictly cardio would hurt. So that's how I know it's like now it's getting big. And the last time I went had my ultrasound was about three weeks ago. And it, he said my uterus is about 11 to 15 centimeters, which is very, very big. Very, very big. Very, very concerning. You know? So there's that. And yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a little update in the beginning of this vlog so y'all can see what direction this vlog is going in. Um, I'm about to stop by the hair store because my birthday is Saturday. And unfortunately, I won't be celebrating my birthday this year. I'll be thankful to have life, but I won't be celebrating it. I'll be getting out the hospital because I'll be in the hospital for two days. So I'll be turning 31 and I'll be coming home to recover, you know. So <laughs> I'm thankful that I'll be able to see that my 31st birthday. And um, yeah. So other than that, um, when I leave the daughter's office, I'm supposed to be going to Benihana because we really have a taste for Benihana. And my bookie boo has just been, you know, doing her little one-two on me, giving me my birthday gifts early, I guess, while I'm able to, like, you know, be in the mood to receive them. Because on my birthday, I really feel like I'm just not going to be in the mood for anything. I'm just going to be in a lot of pain and stuff. But I'm going to go uh, find some press-on nails. And because my hair is red, y'all, I want to go get some red press-on nails. And I think I'm going to take some cute pictures because I kind of want to do, like, some pictures before my surgery. I am going to weigh myself on the scale before surgery and then weigh myself afterwards. I just want to see how much weight this put on me. And I am going to show, like, a full body picture of my body with my stomach, how it looks with the fibroids in and with it out. So... <laughs> It's definitely a lot to see here. It's a lot to see here. A lot of before and after. 
so right now i'm almost pulling up at the hair store to get my press on nails y'all and would y'all believe the glasses that i just wore on the last vlog i lost them and i'm so mad because now i looked all over the house y'all cleaned the house i put all my clothes out like that's how much i love those glasses would y'all believe those glasses are gone 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 I think they fell out the car or something when I was charging the car or whatever. I don't know. Something happened, but they're definitely not in my possession anymore. So I'm gonna have to order some more off Amazon because if I would if I would have those glasses, I would have been wearing these. I would have been wearing those, not these. And I just got these. These are cute, but they're not like what I wanted. I wanted those glasses because they were so cute. But I'm gonna let y'all see the fit once I get like where I'm going. I just, I'm about to turn in this hair store and pick up some press on nails. Y'all know I love good press on. I'm not really into like keeping nails on my fingers anymore. I, I don't know. I just like to grab and go. I like quick stuff. So I just like to put the nails on, pop them off at the end of the night. So, yeah. So let's just go pick out some cute ones. If, uh, if you're in Atlanta, there's only two um actual companies hair stores that i would recommend that i think are fire and they are they're they're so big they're big as croaker one is called beauty master i'll be on it so good. oh i'm sorry guys <laughs> one is called beauty master and the other one is called chapel beauty so chapel beauty is mainly on the east side uh in atlanta by like east side but master beauty master is like southwest type stuff right but they have like the best press on nails so if y'all are interested in that i would recommend y'all you know uh checking out one of these hair stores because they press ons are fire i'm um, right by my gym oh, 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 oh. okay well let me run in here right quick because my appointment is at three and i'm slowing around and i gotta get out of here i'll be back all right, y'all. So I just came out the hair store, and I picked out some burgundy nails because my hair is burgundy. No matter what y'all may think it is, it's burgundy, girl. It's definitely burgundy, and I got me some burgundy press on nails, and they were pretty cute because I saw this other color, but I feel like I wear that color too much. Like I feel like I wear that color a little bit too much. Like I really like the color. But I'm going to show y'all these burgundy ones. And it actually matches my hair really, really better. So I'm kind of glad I did that. Because I am going to be taking pictures. Like I told y'all. I wish this little hump with Cool out. Cool out. Cool out. Anyway. So I got these. They're burgundy. Y'all probably can't tell. Y'all probably can tell better once I put them on. But let me put them on so y'all can see how they look. And just like that, y'all, I got some press on nails. They are super cute. They kind of go with my hair, whatever, but even way, never mind that. I just made it to the doctor's office for pre registration for my surgery. And um, she said they're running on time today because it's a lot of people in here. And I asked her, like, how long is it going to take? But she said that they're on time. So hopefully I won't be here long because my appointment is at 3. And then we have reservations at Benny Hanna's for 5.30 or 5 o'clock, one of them. But they're gonna draw blood and basically get me together for Thursday. So other than that, I'm just gonna sit here. Oh y'all, and let me tell y'all, I was talking to y'all about my glasses that I had got. Not the ones that y'all seen on my last vlog, but I actually have some glasses that I was in love with as well that I was wearing for work. And I found some glasses when I went to the hair store. So I'm gonna show y'all when we get back in the car. But other than that, I don't want to be talking in the waiting room because we just ain't here waiting and stuff like that. So I'm going to see y'all once I get to the back because I'm probably not even when I get to the back because I think it's just strictly blood work and strictly test so they can make sure I'm good and healthy and ready to go for surgery. So I'm just see y'all. Need you close. So close. Y'all love that song, y'all. It's called Get Close by Ari Lennox. The song is a vibe. It's one of those riding through the city late night. You just playing this song. And, you know, it's a vibe. Whatever, whatever. Okay, anyway. I'm back, y'all. As y'all can see, I switched my glasses up because I found my glasses that 
not the ones from the last vlog like i said it before i found these ones in the hair store but i was wearing this at work and i love these these are like everyday glasses and after surgery i'm i feel like i'm gonna be looking a hot ass mess so i need some everyday glasses on so i won't feel that much of a mess or whatever but anyway let me just give y'all a rundown of what happened at um the pre-op so i went there did blood work and i think i told y'all did i tell y'all they gave me these wipes and stuff and basically told me that before the day before surgery uh at night when i take my shower i have to take my shower three hours after that i have to wipe down with these wipes i can't use it on my face i can't use it on my buttocks or my vagina area i strictly just have to use it on my on the rest of my body parts and i cannot eat after 12 p.m tomorrow so the morning of surgery the only thing i have to do is get up wash my face she said i can like wipe off my private part and i can brush my teeth and that's it i can't do nothing else no lotion no anything then she said something about my nails but i told her i was like oh girl these are press-ons i'm just trying to celebrate my birthday today because i'm not gonna be able to do it saturday and she's like oh, okay i'm like yeah i'm gonna pop these off so then they drew some blood on me and stuff like that just to make sure that i am able to get the anesthesia like i'm good to go for surgery which i am and then they put this on me this little red band i won't turn around and show you everything because i got my information on it but basically the red band is basically telling them that um if anything happens i need a blood transfusion so i have to keep this red band on me leading up to my surgery so if I do have to get a blood transfusion, then I'll be getting one. So there's that. I mean, pretty much overall, y'all, I'm still nervous. I'm still scared, but I feel like nothing has gone wrong. Like I haven't met like a mean nurse or nothing just making me feel like, all right, it's going to go work bad. I feel like everybody is just so nice and just talking to me and letting me know like it's, everything's going to be okay. And then I seen so many other people in there getting surgery. I don't know what kind of surgery they getting. But I do know they're getting surgery. So it's just like, hmm, it just kind of feels good knowing like, okay, all these other people are going to get surgery. It's not just me. I'll be okay type stuff. So right now we out here charging a car. And I kept telling y'all every video I was going to show y'all. Let me show y'all. Okay. So basically, I'm in a Polestar. If y'all don't know what a Polestar is, Google it. <laughs> so I'm in a Polestar and we're charging the car right now. So at, the car is at 69%. So I have it set to where it could go to 100, but it never goes to 100. It'll go to like 96%. But today, because we have reservations to go eat, I'm going to stop it at like 75. Well, I said I was going to stop at 530 and it's 525 right now. So this tells you how much the mileage is that you get from the charge, where it's at so far. This is the watts of, you know, how the power of the charge. And this is the time, but I think the car time is different because that's wrong. It's not, it's not 639, it's 524. And then if you come right here, it has a cute little touch screen. It's really cute. When I charge the car, y'all, I'll be playing games and stuff. And I'll be trying to get Bae to play games with me. She'll play sometimes. But other than that, we'll just go in Walmart, waste a little time. And then come back out and do our little one too. But yeah, or I'll watch YouTube, y'all. So, you know, it's just cute or whatever. Let me see. Whatever, it takes too long. Yep, so as you can see over here in the charge station, station, let me zoom in so, so y'all can see. So basically, I'm at 71%, and as y'all can see, I only charged up about $8.12 so far. That is good, and i only been sitting here 28 minutes. So I spent $8 for a 71% charge for 28 minutes. So how much do y'all spend on, um, not a quarter tank, I, what is it called? Uh, a third of a tank how much do y'all pay for that let me know okay y'all so i'm actually about to take the plug out i'll let y'all see so i'm about to take the plug out and then get ready to go so basically when you take the plug out you just hit this little button right here and then it's gonna blink 
and then when it stops blinking that's when you know it's time to take it out but the thing about it is to me the thing is so goddamn gone hard to pull like i just think that they got it in weird places to be honest it's like in a weird little spot oh hold on okay so yeah basically that's just what it is for me right now i had a day it was a successful day it was great and now we're off to go get some food get some drinks have some fun i'm just really excited because you know i'm just i just can't wait to see what life is gonna be like after you know what i'm saying after surgery after my stomach and everything is fine but yeah i'm about to drive y'all so there's absolutely no recording and driving so i would just see y'all when we get to the restaurant okay bye all right, y'all, so we just got to spot number three for the day. And we are at Benihana's, and we about to eat. We about to eat real good, actually, because y'all don't know that give you so much food. And I'm about to grow up. I will see y'all when I get to the table, because it's about to go down in the gums. I want greens, beans, potatoes. <laughs> I just see y'all when we get in. I got to show y'all the drip check while I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so I got this hoodie on. It says, what do it say? Freezing. It's cute, whatever. I had got this from Roots and One. I got some black leggings on. And I got some dunks on. They cute or whatever. And y'all know my Amazon lace front to wig and these glasses i got y'all know where i just got them from so i they're not on my amazon storefront but yeah girl i just wanted to come and show y'all what your girl had on i love this red hair on me i really really do but yeah so but we got a reservation and they about to send us now we just had to wash our hands and use the bathroom so yeah girl I don't understand what's the point of making reservations if the reservation is not going to be ready when you arrive. Our reservation is at 6. Okay, let me stop. Look, I just looked at the time. It's 621. Okay. It's 15, 20 minutes now. Okay, one thing about it is she don't like the soup and she don't like the, the salad. <laughs> she don't like the soup or the salad. Me? See, me, I'm gonna eat. And I ate. And I got some little drink. Cheers. I got me a drink. It's called the Benihana Mojito. Y'all, it's strong. I'm glad I'm not driving home. This one over here is. <laughs> but I'm waiting for her to come on, y'all. I'm hungry. I'm real hungry. And this is actually my last meal before surgery. So I really got to chow down today and tomorrow because I can't eat anything until surgery. Or until after surgery. And then after surgery. I'm probably gonna be really, really hungry and still can't eat what I want because it has to be like broth or some type of soup, crackers like that. So I'm about to enjoy these because the next time y'all really see me on camera, it's not gonna give this. This is gonna give. Damn, girl, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> but all right, I'll see y'all when the cook comes.
been on my plate that long and I'm full. I think personally, I'd be overwhelmed from food. Like, well, it's a lot of food. Oh, I'm also old, so that can play a part. Because I'm over here yawning. But, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Actually, Bay was saying to me that it's not that she didn't like. What was it? The onion soup. Oh, yeah, the onion soup. She doesn't eat onions. So, basically, she was like, if she did eat onions, she would like the onion soup. Because I loved it. So, that's basically why she didn't like like the onion soup. But other than that, the salad. Oh, the salad. She didn't like the salad because it had ginger on it. She's used to, like, ranch or, like, vinaigrette, vinaigrette and, or Caesar. She don't really like the ginger dressing that they put on there. So, yeah. I'm full, y'all. And I'm probably going to end the night right here and then I'll just see y'all tomorrow yeah the day before surgery is tomorrow so I just see y'all tomorrow Bye. <laughs> hey, your girl is back and it's a new day and I'm coming in to check in with y'all, giving y'all an update about what I'm doing right now. So today is Wednesday, which is the day before my surgery. And I think it's like, I'm only going to watch on, but it's about, it has to be like going on 5 o'clock right now. It's going on 5 p.m. And I'm actually about to start packing my hospital bag because I am getting admitted after the surgery. And I'm going to be there for like one or two days. So I'm trying to pack what I'm going to need and like what I'm going to wear to the hospital in the morning. And what I'm going to wear when I leave the hospital yeah, because I think for the most part, they're going to have me in a gown. So, girl, your girl finna gown down. But I got to make sure I have some socks. And I don't know how they want to do it with me put it on underwear. So, girl, I had packed some boxers because who? <laughs> who? <laughs> I packed some boxers so I could be comfortable because I don't care. I need to be comfortable. So, Yeah. I'm just going to be literally trying to get um, as much comfortable stuff. So, I got these sweatpants or whatever. They're green, like teal, whatever. I got these sweatpants and I got this oversized hoodie. Well, not hoodie, but sweatshirt. And I'm just going to, this is going to be what I wear when I leave. And I got some socks and I got some boxer briefs. Because I don't know if it's going to be really tight on me or whatever. And so I got this. I got these sweatpants. I'm going to wear to. <laughs> I'm going to wear these to the hospital. And I need a shirt to put on up under that. So let me find a t-shirt to put on. Basically, I'm just trying to get everything together. I was going to take my wig off. But, like, it's not giving that. So, I'm just going to pack this t-shirt, this gray t-shirt, and wear it tomorrow on my way there until I dress out. And, honestly, I might just put this on when I leave because I just don't know what to do. Like, this is my first time having surgery, so I really don't know, like, what I'm supposed to, like, have, pack, not pack. But, just in case, I am going to bring another t-shirt. But I, I'm trying to make sure that all the shirts that I pack are loose. So that way, you know, nothing feels too tight on me. I don't want to feel like stuffed or whatever. So I'm going to just take this and put it up under the shirt. I mean, the sweatshirt. So this is going to be for this. And I need some underwear to wear for tomorrow for that. Y'all, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I am going to show y'all my stomach. I just want to get all this stuff kind of packed up right now. But I'm going to show y'all my stomach, how it looks. And I'm just going to give y'all a little bit of information about what fibroids is. Because a lot of people don't really know. And some people could be walking around with fibroids right now and don't even know it. Because they don't have the symptoms as of yet. And I'm not trying to project that on anybody. I'm clearly... Just stating the facts of the facts. 
is you just never know because I believe that I had these for a very long time before I actually paid attention to it for real for real so yeah and all right so I got this pack this shirt is gonna go up under here I could actually wear this hoodie tomorrow with this and this shirt then I got this so now I just need some more socks but y'all, the crazy part about this whole thing is that the pain that I was in was so bad. Like, it was so bad. Every time I came on my cycle, it's like everything, the whole world has to get shut down. It's like, I can't go anywhere. I could barely make it to the bathroom. I have to walk slumped over like this, holding my stomach to get to the bathroom. Like, it was just a whole lot. Like... And, and, like, you know, I'm still going through it. I'm just not on my cycle right now. So, I'm not really affected in this moment. But I still, like, have pains because it has grown so much in my stomach. So, yeah. I be spotting a lot out of nowhere. It's crazy. It's, it's really affected me a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Hold on. I was saying it's affected me a lot and it just sucks to know that you know there's people out here in my situation too and they probably don't even know what steps to take what to do first to get treated for it and the first thing I would say is you need to reach out to a primary care doctor like this is time you need to find a primary care doctor and you need them to you know check you out let them you need to talk to them and be honest with them about your symptoms or whatever it is you're experiencing that may cause you pain like you need to be open and honest about it let them figure out what it is let them you know feel on you um give you a pap smear if if, if necessary give you an ultrasound an mri i had to do both so you know it's just a crazy 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 feeling but I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it because I just felt super insecure, super uncomfortable, just not myself. I'm always tired. I felt so lazy. I felt, I feel, I'm saying I felt, I still do. I feel so unmotivated. I didn't like leaving the house, not because I turned into a homebody, but because I didn't like the way my body looks like. I would wear so many cute outfits, but my body, like I would literally have to pay attention to an angle. Because if I didn't get that angle, I didn't look right. Because my body looks so funny now because I'm all stomach. You know what I'm saying? And maybe it doesn't look funny because that's how pregnant people look when they're all stomach. But for me, because I knew I wasn't pregnant, it made me just so uncomfortable. Like, super uncomfortable. And then, like, with me working out in the gym, I had to stop working out in the gym, y'all. Because it was hurting me to do certain workouts. And then I, I was noticing how I'm losing so much weight everywhere besides my stomach. Like, it was crazy. It's it's really challenging. I was, but yeah, like I was saying, just take a hundred percent care of yourself. Don't wait till the last minute. If you feel like something deep down is telling you, like, look, I need to go get checked. Something isn't right. This feels like it could be ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't want to diagnose yourself, go get checked and let somebody else diagnose you that has a professional history with things of this nature you know what i mean so that's that on that y'all i'm literally packing my hospital bag i <laughs> gotta make sure i grab everything that i need i'm gonna grab my bonnet and i was gonna take my wig out but i'm like people are gonna be coming to see me and it's not like i can get up and do my little whole one too like i normally do so i really just need to pack and do what i need to do <laughs> I need to pack and do what I need to do. <clears throat> I think I'm going to pack a white girl brush. But I got a bonnet and stuff like that. So. Push going to shove girl. I'm not going to be worried about brushing my hair. I'm going to be worried about healing. Healing to the ceiling. Healing with my nisions. You feel me? But. Let me show y'all actually how my stomach looks. Like. Let me close my curtains back. Because you know people be nosy. But I do want to show y'all like how. My stomach looks. It's like a stomach reveal. So this is how my actual stomach looks. 
So, this is my side. This is no sucking it in. Now, if I pull this down, do y'all see this? Ignore, ignore like the stretch marks or whatever and the messed up that too. But this is me being vulnerable with y'all and letting y'all see like, you could tell I'm supposed to be small from my backside. But because of this, I cannot lose any freaking weight. This side looks so much better. All the stretch marks and stuff over there. But I cannot lose any weight because this is in a way. This. This is in a way. Do y'all see what I'm saying? It's all stomach. If I step back, look how little my legs are. And look how small I am up top. But maybe a little bit bigger because of this. But this is, it has to go. It has to go. And I feel like it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you can tell because my back does not look like this. So what I'm thinking is when they slice and dice me, girl, I'm going to get sucked in like a Capri Sun. You feel me? So that's what I'm thinking is going to happen because I used to be small and up until this situation. So that's why I wear, I feel more comfortable wearing my leggings right here. Instead of wearing it down because, baby, it's going to hang. That's just what it's giving. So, I let y'all see that. So, that was very um, new for me to be comfortable showing y'all something like that. But anyway, girl, I ain't going to keep talking y'all head off. Let me finish packing my stuff up. And then I'll just call y'all. Call y'all back. I'm going to call y'all back when I figure out what I got going on next. Okay? <laughs> Bye. It's 6 a.m. My face is ashy. I look a mess. I'm scared to tell, but I'm here. I don't know, y'all. I'm here and I'm nervous. I'm scared. I have wiped myself down this morning with the wipes that they gave me. That's why my face looks extra ashy. There's so many people in here that's doing surgery this morning. And I wish and pray for all their surgery and recovery. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and I just pray to have a good surgery, y'all. So I'm gonna just see y'all when I get up because it's time. So see y'all later. Bye. No jewelry piercings anymore. I'm sorry, I'm vlogging my experience. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm vlogging you while I can. Oh, 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 you're a vlogger? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, wow. I'm scared. <laughs> So right now she's just asking me questions. My daughter just walked in. I literally just saw him. I'm scared. I done cried like three times this morning. I look a mess, but I'm scared. I, I'm just scared. But thank you to everybody that has texted me this morning, wishing me good prayers and stuff. I'm really scared. said I wasn't gonna come back on camera but I gotta talk about it I'm done with surgery it is probably going on six o'clock I've been out of surgery since 10 a.m. I'm still sitting in the recovery room haven't even made it to a room yet so I'm sitting here in pain getting meds just in good spirits because I'm happy it's over with I'm thinking, okay, everything is done. You know, I'm about to be normal again. Mm, my fibroids are removed. Everything is everything. I just got to heal. So I say about 4.30, y'all, uh, my doctor comes in because he couldn't come right to me because I was still out on anesthesia. And he had another surgery to do right after me. So he comes to me at 4.30, around 4.30, mind you. 
my surgery been done since 10 a.m. So <clears throat> he comes in. We already had this talk when I had when I had the conversation with him in the clinic before I even made it to the hospital before this day. I said, hey, can you take a picture? I want to see how they look. I said, yeah, I got you. Y'all, he comes in and I say, where's the pictures? Do you take pictures? He said, no, I don't have any pictures. Okay. So he pulls the chair, he sits there. And he's like, we weren't able to remove the fibroids because your fibroids are stuck to your <clears throat> bowels. Your uterus is stuck to your bowels. They're all stuck together. So, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm crying. Your uterus and your fibroids are stuck to your bowels. So if I were to go in to get to your fibroids, I would have to cut your bowels. You would have a hysterectomy and you would have a colostomy bag on the top of your stomach or something like that. And he said, that's not what we talked about. I didn't have your consent for that. I didn't feel right doing that. So we didn't go through with that. We just closed you back up. And I wanted to wait to explain to you what happened. He said that you, you do have endometriosis. I was told I didn't have endometriosis. So once he got into there, he found the endometriosis. And he said it's nothing he's never seen, ever seen before because they look really bad. You know, I'm hurt, y'all. I'm hurt because I've been in pain. I've been in pain all year. I've been suffering all year. I've been feeling like this all year. Trying to be comfortable and still feeling uncomfortable. I was excited. I was excited. I was excited. Y'all, I had to quit my job for this surgery because if not, they were gonna let me go because I, I haven't been on my job long enough to receive FMLA with no pay. I wasn't there long enough to even secure my, my position because I didn't have 1,280 hours. Y'all had to quit my job. I had to accept the fact that I wasn't gonna bring no income in for six weeks while I'm healing. Y'all, I, I lost so much. I lost so much for nothing. I put so much on the line for nothing. I got nothing done. Nothing was done. So now I'm still out for six weeks. I'm still in pain. I got to wait for the, the, the cut to heal. And I got nothing done. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> Y'all have no idea how I feel. Y'all have no idea how I feel. <laughs> I'm so heartbroken. I am so heartbroken. Because the only option that I have now is a hysterectomy. Or to just sit and deal with the pain every month when I come on my cycle. So not only am I suffering for pain, now y'all just don't understand. I feel like crap. Like, I feel like I have nothing now. <laughs> I feel like I just have nothing. Nothing to live for. Nothing. I feel... <laughs> this is not the way I thought it was going to go. I got cut open for nothing. I, I got myself worked up and scared for nothing. I got cut open for nothing. I'm out for six weeks with no kind of income because I'm not able to move around and stuff for nothing. I 
cut your back. But it's really a odd. Uh, yeah, I asked her. She said, is it, um, is it uh, Lola? I said, no, it's our Ola. I said, that's her, uh, baby Lola. <laughs> yeah, my mom here. And she done heard me cry about ten times. Checking her heads. About everything, y'all. Uh, it's a lot to take in in one day. I'm just really sad. I'm really sad. I don't know. It's just a lot to take in. So now I'm just waiting for my anxiety medicine. I'm still downstairs, upstairs in recovery. It's been four hours now, y'all. I'm still waiting on the room. Because even though I didn't get nothing done today, I, well, I got cut open and examined, basically. No fibroids was removed. But I had to go get my own room now. <clears throat> you want say hey to the vlog? Just say hey. Just say hey. Hi. No, just say hey. Hey. See. Hi. That was probably not funny. Dad, no pull up camera in the hotel. In the hotel, dude. Oh, what? What? Dad, this is your truth. You know, you're always about the truth. I know. I I told y'all I started vlogging this when I went to my pre-op Tuesday. It's just a continuous thing. Uh, yeah, she, I mean, I'm about to go upstairs. I mean, downstairs. Who is he? Her nurse, Morgie. Oh, mm -hmm. he'll be her nurse. His name is Morgie. He told me, you don't have, you have oxycodone. And, uh, All right, y'all. So, I just made it upstairs to the new room. And I just got some medicine in me to calm down my anxiety. I forgot the name already. But I'm hungry. And, and you need to follow people who might get into ah, of being And I'm having stomach pain. But I'm not trying to tell them about no medicine because I'm scared I'm going to overdose. So, my stomach hurting. And then I have a new person in here helping me. He is so dope. He's so sweet. And I love it here. My mama here. My boo about to come. Y'all know I've been downstairs. I mean, upstairs. By myself for so long. Well, Y'all, this whole journey has just been crazy to me. I've cried about 20 times yeah. within the past right. two days. Send me that text. I don't know. It's a lot to handle. A lot. I'm just gonna stay here and get drugged up. Feel better. Yeah. I'll see you on the comeback. Good morning, y'all. It's December 1st. And I'm just now checking in for the morning. It's 5 a.m. And my boo left not too long ago. My mama left at like 9 o'clock last night. And I'm just in pain. I've just been sitting here in the same position. I haven't got up to attempt to walk. They barely fed me. I mean, I just feel really low. Like, I don't feel like I've been properly taken care of. I feel like every answer that I have, I've been just asking, trying to figure it out. Like, I'm just over it. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm feeling, like, really just tired. But I don't have anything on my agenda today besides getting up and walking, taking medication, and going to sleep. So that's just what today looks like for me. If I do anything else, I'll come back and let y'all know. I'm in so much pain.
Oh. All right, I'll be back. Hi, guys. Just checking in on my little visit. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I could be able to walk up the stairs at my house. E P I N G. It's spelled exactly how it sounds, but it's all together, not spaced out. J A S. What's up, cousins? It's your girl. And I look a mess, as y'all can see, but y'all know why. It is currently 4 40, and I'm walking around because your girl gotta go home. Tomorrow's my birthday. And I've been walking around, and I'm standing up. And my niece ordered me some Gustos. And my hunger, I checked in on the vlog. As y'all saw, she came and bought me some flowers. And she got me a bear. This cute little bear. So cute. Thank you, Nicole. So as y'all can see, I was real moody, real snappy yesterday and this morning. But, you know, I'm trying to get better. We just gonna have to have a deep talk when I leave here. A real deep talk. So, I'm gonna sit back down, y'all, because I'm in a lot of pain standing up, and I'll just see y'all later tonight. Bye. This is the worst hospital I've ever been to in my life. I will never come back to Grady again. The whole time I've been here, it's been a complete shit show. I got a whole PCT that can't even wash me up. It's my first time washing myself up since I've been here. This whole, the whole experience from surgery to being on the floor to everything is pissing me off. Today is my birthday, y'all. Y'all know I don't even want to be in here. But the fact that I still got to sit up in here, wash myself up, beg for medicine, do all this other stuff, it's really pissing pissing me off and I haven't been patient enough and I ain't got no more patience y'all this whole time I literally been sitting in the bed pissing on myself I've been laying in the same gown since I got on this floor I literally been laying in the same sheets since I got in this bed the only thing they changing is the freaking pads right here everything need to be changed bruh like I'm frustrated I'm tired I'm in pain you refusing me of me telling you I'm in pain, I need some medicine, you telling me no. But all the other nurses that I've had from other shifts are giving it to me with no problem. I'm not finna wait four to six hours for no medicine. Not when I ain't been doing it. Y'all don't understand. I'm so pissed off. And I'm gonna let y'all know right now, if y'all ever come to Atlanta, Georgia, y'all go to Grady, get prepared for the bullshit on first shift. I don't know whoever they is, but get prepared for it. The people that work at nighttime, I don't never have no issues. But the ones in the morning, kiss my ass. Hey cousins, okay, it's been a whole couple of days. Actually, no, I talked to y'all yesterday on a vlog before I left the hospital. I'm back at home. I just wanted to check in with y'all because I'm actually about to close this vlog up so I get this video up for y'all. I've been walking around, I've been pain, but I've been having company all day today. Since this is my first day back at home since surgery. I'm gonna do a, a post-op video for y'all so y'all can see where I'm at like a week from now. But as of right now, I'm in pain. Um, but I will show y'all the cute balloons. I mean, flowers and balloons and stuff that I got. These are the cute flowers that I got and stuff like that. And I got company right here. And Lola's been walking around. But if you have made it this far in the vlog, y'all, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching me, y'all. And send me nothing but love. Hey, that's Kim hey, right there, y'all. Y'all want to say hey to the vlog? Say hey to the vlog. <laughs> but make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure y'all send me some positive love in the comments. Okay? And I'm going to get this video up for y'all hopefully by tomorrow. So, love y'all cousins.